Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. I am Rufal, playing this game for you. Woo! Appears af after making the explosion, we're a little bit held up by the collateral damage. So, Jesse's setting up our way out. Run for it! I have to admit, I'm not entirely sure how they managed to get out of that, that fireball unscathed, but... Well, Wedge is a little worse for wear. <laughs> Rendezvous at Sector 8 Station! Hey! No, it's not about my money! Where's the Sector 8 Station? Get back here! Ah, never mind. Oh! It's that girl from the intro. Hello, ma'am. Uh, nothing's going on. Hmm. Flowers? Sure, why not? Right. Now I gotta see about finding our way to that train station. It's not much point in talking to some of the people running around. You just want to know what's going on, and you'll read us the sign on the wall. I don't know. If it's a sign. It's probably more like just some graffiti. Ah, some doom and gloom from Avalanche. Aren't they great? Well, let's go this way in hopes of catching the train. Uh, there's some soldiers coming up behind us. We can't fight them for a piddling amount of money, experience, and AP, but they aren't worth our time. And, well, when you fight them, another wave of soldiers shows up. Oh, seriously, there were 10 gil each, 2 AP apiece, and 16 experience. They aren't worth the time. <laughs> let's just get out of here. There's our train! Whee! Duck! Yeah, I got a little held up. No way! Everyone's a little bummed out that Cloud didn't make it to the station. Cloud failed to rendezvous. Think he's gonna fight to the end for Avalanche? <laughs> I would doubt it. That Barrett is not happy, clearly. And uh, that's definitely not subject matter to help him feel better. Knock, knock! Hey! Open the door! Up! Sorry, I'm a little late. I figured the dramatic entrance was it was in order. Got everybody worried! <laughs> really? You were worried about me? <laughs> Aww. Fine, be that way. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, you better. Yeesh. Ah, uh, no problem, Jesse. We wouldn't have made it out if we didn't help you out.
Ah, this looks more like a passenger train. Train graveyard. Sounds like a wonderful place. 12.23 a.m. Wow. How long were we stuck in that, in that tunnel? It's 12.23 a.m. is half past midnight. <laughs> Boy, news got out quick. The newspapers have even printed about the explosion already. Hello, hobo. Hey, Barrett. Fine, be that way. What do you think, Wedge? Right, Jesse. We could attempt to leave the car, but then a guard would tell us would tell us we can't go there. Stupid plot wall. Hooray! Something to look at. What we got here? Yay, models! Fifty meters. Holy cow! That's like 15 stories off the ground! Probably a little more. <laughs> Does it really help anybody to, to take out the power system? Ah, uh, nobody wants to remember the names of suburbs. Must be a pretty big support structure. Hmm. So how do we get past it then? Oh. It's just that simple. Yeah. All right then. Awesome. What do you expect given the time of day, buddy? Yeah, sleeping. That that would be the appropriate thing for this time of day. Yeah, with that giant plate, there really wouldn't be a day or night cycle for the people under it. Actually, there would be, but you know. It's because of that bleeping pizza that people underneath are suffering. The air's polluted. The reactors drain up all the energy, all the planetary energy. But I don't. I think that's pretty irrelevant to the discussion. No, it's probably the money part. No one lives in the slums because they want to. Well, the train could go somewhere else, it's just disaster would happen. Speaking of... Woo! Huh. I guess, the, I guess underneath the plate really does look like a warehouse. Apparently there's an external wall, too. Alright then. Be 
people can live their entire lives without seeing the sun in Midgar. That sounds horrible. <laughs> What's up, Barrett? Yay! Yay, bigger booms! Alright. Hideouts, of course, over this way, but, uh... Well, it's the other way, but... Uh, go freak out this guy. Boo! <laughs> See what? Yeah, funny that. Well, I'd hope their support structures are, are sounder than that, though. What do they got here? Oh, those are quite big support structures. It's one big gigantic concrete column, it looks like. How so? Alright, whatever. He's not gonna tell us. What's the rush? That's not very nice. Hear about what? Oh. Oh, what's that mean? Okay. Yeah, those things kind of need power. That's a lot of damage. But it's midnight now! How long ago was this explosion? Uh, no one will give us a clear answer on that. <laughs> Hmm. Ah, oh, lots of stuff are up with that. Hey, Barrett. Ah, oh, we're gonna walk just because that'll piss Barrett off. Isn't that right? <laughs> Whoa! I'm not your daddy, kid. No, that's not her mother, either. Oh, he wanted to punch me, but he held back. Yeah, well. How's it going, Tifa? Oh, this? Ah, it's no big. Here you go, kid. <laughs> and we can't, uh, we can't talk with the people of Avalanche, but uh, there's nothing particular to be said. So we'll just try and go outside and not get run over by Barrett. Hey, where'd you get the flower? Oh. Did you thank him? Yay! <laughs> Meeting time! Well, let's go flirt with the barkeep. Sure! I'll take a cocktail. Yay! 
beverage. That wasn't tough. Explosions were a little hairy, but it wasn't tough. Not to worry. Cloud is on his way to somewhere, apparently. But, uh, we're not gonna get much insight on that. Mostly because we have a meeting to get to. Ah. I might, I might save your bacon someday. Sure. I don't know why I wound up talking to, to Wedge. I, I wanted to speak with Jesse. But I guess, but instead I got the TV. Fine, I won't talk with Jesse then. How is Avalanche claimed responsibility for the bombing? We just got back to our hideout. I think they're just blame throwing. Uh oh, that could be dangerous. What's up, Barrett? Nope, definitely not. Funnily enough, that is actually a very true statement. <laughs> if you know anything about uh, about soldier, then um, those people are kind of gods in their own right. <laughs> They'd wreck Cloud's face too, for that matter. He's really got. He really let himself go. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Hey, that was uncalled for. You asked question, I gave you answer. There's no need for the back talk. I'm gonna go upstairs. I'll talk about my money. You got that? Right. What is it, Tifa? Barrett, hey, you're not so good at this recruitment strategy, are you? Cloud doesn't give a rat's about anything. Yeesh. Now, if you actually you demonstrate apathy to Wedge, then, uh, he'll, 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 it, it gets, it's a negative response. <laughs> Friends are great for everybody. I don't think Barrett's going, going to make, going to, uh, enable making friends. Oh, hey, Tifa. <laughs> Let Barry and his buddies do something about it. Besides, blowing up reactors seems like a band-aid solution at best. What? What are you on about? What promise? Well, if the dialogue here doesn't change, no, is, is the same no matter which of those options you pick. Alright, fine. Let's have a seven-year flashback. Or a flashback to seven years ago. Hey, the sky! I remember that! Oh, well. Thought you'd never come. <laughs> hey, 
Chris, what do you want to talk about, kid? Oh, yeah? I might be mistaken, but that sounds like you want to leave to get a job. Yay! I think you might have set the bar a little high for yourself, though. So funny. Maybe. Oh, uh, what? Claude makes a very good point here. He is not he is neither famous nor a hero, so he hasn't lived up to his end of, of the promise in order to keep it. Did I? Hmm. What's up, Barrett? Hey, money! But seriously, this is it? The next one for three thousand. <laughs> it's always fun to take it to take advantage of a desperate situation. But that will do for now. Next time, we'll get started on said mission. We'll see you then. Later.